Boxing in the super lightweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the black Le Chance trim with blue, yellow and white. At the weight, she scaled nine stone, 12 pounds. Tonight is her 44th professional appearance, presenting from Drapurva, Gunitska, Poland, Bojana, Lebezuska. And opposing her, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the multicolored shorts. At the weight, she scaled nine stone, four pounds, six ounces. From one contest, she has one win. Presenting from Wigan, Rhiannon Dixon. <laughs> Timekeeper at the bell is Gary Grennan. Referee charge of the action, Darren Sargentson. Four two-minute rounds. Here we go then. Last time out, Rihanna flew out of that corner at the start of the fight. Uh, yeah, Dixon last time, it was head movement, it was uh, fast counter punches, the southpaw left was good, which has come out in the exact same fashion here. She's got really nice style to watch as well, picks the shots well. Nice left hook over the top. Well, we very rarely see female journeymen, but we've probably seen what we, the closest there is to an Ibra Riaz or Christine Lay in there tonight. Yeah, Libby Zuska just looking to negate Dixon in close. It's like you said, Lou, it's very rare you see a female fighter just you know, surviving and looking to play the game. Lots of fights. This is a 44 fight. Five wins. So if, you, if you're not on your game, she will beat you. And, uh, something for Rhiannon to learn here, you know. But Jana's gonna, you know, gonna look to grab hold, gonna look to make it negative and slow things down. And Rhiannon work, fights at a fast pace, so she's gotta work out how to stay out of those clinches. Nice work to the body on the inside. Just don't wanna get frustrated with that. Clinching and the inside work. Yeah, she, the Polish girl's gonna grab hold of that arm and clamp it to her side for all she's worth, isn't she? Yeah, she's gonna make it as difficult as she can for Rihanna to land shots. You know, just like that, we're coming towards the end of this first round. So short and sharp, these two-minute rounds yeah the key here is not going to to not get frustrated you know try and keep a distance try and work at range and let the referee do his job yeah and it's hard to get going in these two-minute rounds isn't it yeah and Lee Blundell above was calling for that jab just keep firing that jab out it's it was never going to be as exciting as a debut, this one. She's in with a completely different opponent. We saw earlier on. Yeah, when Ebony Carlin got beat by Maida, uh, Vader Masiaketi. Much more upright target, isn't she? You know, Rhiannon coming in underneath and coming up with those left hooks. Yeah, she fires shots back as well, doesn't she? She really comes in as a go, whereas you see in there at the moment, Bajana's not going to throw as many shots. She's going to look to get away through the rounds. Second out, one, two. Okay, so just using your feet a little bit more here, not allowing her to drag into clinches, that's better. A nice body shot landed. Oh, this is much better from Dixon in there. Stands very good to watch when she's in full flow with that head movement. This is going to be in some really exciting fights further down the line, and they're not too far away the way the landscape develops in the female game at the moment. Hey. 
to do the right things as well on the inside. Just trying to spin her opponent. Yeah. And Darren Sargentson just letting them try and work in the clinch. It's all good. You know, you've got to learn everything. You can't expect the referee to just break things up every time. You know, there is, there's going to be times when uh, you are going to have to it's going to get a warning here for holding. But there are going to be times when people do hold and make it negative. Heads coming close there on the inside. Just the odd shot getting through from Dixon at the moment. You can see she's starting to get a bit frustrated though. That was better. Yeah, when she when she throws off her slips, it's, it's good to watch. You know, she's fast, she's accurate. There's a definite look of frustration on her face in the, this tactics from Bajana. Yeah, and it's hard to keep your momentum going against a fight like this, isn't it? You, know, you want to kick on from where you left off last time out and put on another performance like you did last time, and it never happens against opponents like these. No, oh, no, and I've got no doubt should be thinking, oh, it's a case of after the Lord best show. But it, it, it's, hard. it's professional boxing, you know, and not every opponent's going to be made for you, not every opponent's going to play the game. But Jana did get a warning for holding, though, in that round. So uh, if Darren Sargentson takes a point, maybe that'll give Rihanna a good round and a half to, to really show us what she can do. Yeah, it's worth keeping their eye on that because it's clearly what Vagina's going to try and do in these last couple of rounds. Halfway through this one already and two rounds in the bank for Rhiannon Dixon. Nice backhand again to start the round. She starts the round really sharply. It's just a case of not falling in, isn't it? Just keep that distance. Uh, uh, distance is beautiful to watch. Just broke a little bit quicker that time. That's going to suit, suit Rihanna. Yeah, that's what she wants from the referee in this one. Using the forearm to push her opponent off then. She really found a way in this round. Yeah. At this range, she, she looks good. But Jana can't get anything going, can it? It's, it's one sided. Just, pulled, just pulled herself out of a, a clinch and before she even got into it, so just learning on the job. Yeah, just about to say, it's much better around this, just to using her assets and doing what she does best. Nice one, two again, and then just touch into the body with that right hand. Yeah, the voice of James Moorcroft behind us shouting instructions for his gym mate. Of course, he's on the bill. Not too long now, straight in the changing room and getting his warm-up done after this one. Coming towards the end of this third. Just not much, nothing in the way of offence really from uh, Bajana Lipizuska. But a better round there from Rhiannon Dixon. Yeah, best round of the fight that so far for Rhiannon. It's always a bonus when you can see fighters learning, not only between fights, but when they're in the ring. Be a good experience for her being in with someone like this. But like I said, she's going to be fast tracked. She has to be. Yeah, it's going to do much better against girls who come to win. You know, girls who are willing to box with her and not haul and mould them. 
them all and grab and spoil. Uh, when Rhiannon's got distance, you can see she's talented. Seconds out for the fourth and final round. Three rounds in the bank already. It looks like a formality from here on in. Still trying to work though in there, Rhiannon. Yeah. Still trying to get that flow going, isn't she? Oh, one of the punches are coming off the dips and faints. Beautiful to watch. It's just uh, Bajan has made it a business tonight to just break it up at every opportunity, hasn't she? Yeah, she's done quite a good job of it as well. You can see why she's got through so many fights. Heads in close again. Bajan looks quite strong, doesn't she, as well, when she gets in close? Yeah, physically strong. She's got a good few pounds on Rhiannon today, about eight pounds heavier. And, uh, she looks solid, doesn't she? She can't compete with Dixon for hand speed or ability, but just um, knowledge of surviving. Uh, blood coming from Rhiannon Dixon's nose. Yeah, the corner calling for Dixon to keep going forward. They want to finish strongly here. Another ticking off of Bajana from the referee. Coming towards the end of this fourth round. It's been a good performance this from Rhiannon Dixon. Yeah, this is, this is, if your debut was a, a little bit of a star-making one, this has been welcome to professional boxing, hasn't it? Yeah, she's got the win, got a shot out on points, but I'm sure she'll be frustrated. You can see in the corner she looks a bit frustrated. Nothing to be too frustrated about, though. Like you said, this is the way the game works. Everyone's got to go through opponents like this at some stage of the career. Nothing to worry about. If we'd be a disappointed watching it back and frustrated, but nothing to be disappointed about. Just all part of learning to be a fighter. Yeah, nice and quickly. Michael Bass has got the scorecard. There's no doubt whatsoever. It's going to be another shutout win. Job done for Ryan Dixon. Ladies Moving into the new year, two and up. Four rounds of boxing. Darren Sargent's going to score the contest 40 points to 36 points for your winner. Now undefeated in two professional contests from William Ryan Dixon. And a fine effort also from Bojana Levozuska. Well, there we have it then. Shutout victory, just as we thought. We're never going to see anything other than a shutout victory then. Seen from Blundell's gym, all piling in for a photograph. Of course, there's still three fights to go from now. It's been a long, long night of boxing. As Jake Barton, Nathan Juna, certain to liven things up if Nathan Juna comes with anything like the ferocity we saw against Diego Costa. For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across and off, click. Subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.